Hello, hello. I am going to take you guys through some cleanup slash meal prep with me today. It's actually New Year's Day today, so you'll be watching this a little later on, but I, yeah, my husband and I, <laughs> my husband and I kind of let go of our household responsibilities for a couple of days just so that we could enjoy the holiday with our kids, um, live in the moment, you know, a little bit more these past couple days and to really be present and not have to constantly be pulled away by cleaning. So yeah, it's, it's quite a mess, quite a mess. It's so worth it. We had so much fun just hanging out and having fun and it's kind of hard to get back in the swing of just doing that daily pickup because it was so nice just to enjoy our time together. So anyway, I'm going to take you guys through today, which is going to be cleaning and then a little bit of meal prepping, kind of getting back to one of my intentions for the new season to be mindful of what I'm putting into my body. And so we're going to meal prep a bit too. So I'll show you guys how we kind of get ready for the week and what goes into our meal prepping or food prepping. So stick with me if you're interested in seeing how this all goes down. Okay, here's the mess. Somewhat embarrassed to show you this, but I like to keep it real. And this is real. <laughs> this is the past couple days of us just being and not cleaning. And there's Cammie Cakes. She's enjoying a little screen time. Hi, Cammie. Love you. Oh. All right, so let's do this. So I like to start in the kitchen because it is the most daunting task. It's I just like to get the hard work done first. So let's do this. With my little baby bump. Oh, how fun. So typically what I do is start on one side of the yeah, kitchen and I kind of make my way. Them. Yes, I can. I can get you more strawberries. Kind of cleaning as I go. So all the fruits that we've just bought, I just stick them in there. If they're in the bags, I know they haven't been washed yet. So we're gonna leave them in the bags. Leave our, I guess we'll leave that there, the pineapple. I'm just kind of picking up and putting things away as we go. And Cammie has requested more strawberries. Want more strawberries? Let's get some strawberries. This girl loves her strawberries. Here, how many would you like? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six strawberries, woo. Would you like a little, oh, cover your mouth. Oh, cover your mouth, cover your mouth. Good job, baby. We are all struggling with a little bit of a cold. Okay, I'm gonna get you a little squeeze pouch too, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's get her this. These are always, I don't really wanna do a dairy one because she's got a little bit of a cough, so we'll just do a good old pouch. Carrots and apples. Okay. Here you go, sweetheart. I'm gonna set this here for you, okay? So now that the countertops are cleared off, I'm going to clean them off and disinfect them with this Method Antibac. So I like the Method brand products lately, so I'm gonna use that and just paper towels to wipe it down and get it nice and clean. are cleared off and cleaned off. Nice and clean and shiny. No more crusty counters, clean stove top. 
I know it doesn't look clean because there are like all these scratch marks, but it's clean. So this has all been clean. All the dirty dishes are in the sink. And after I wipe the countertops off, I like to move on to the floor because some of the crumbs get knocked on the floor. And then of course there's always, always, always all kinds of fun stuff on the floor. And then I'll move over to the table and clean that off. Cammy, Cammy, hey girl. Show you just a few things that make my life a little bit easier in the process of cleaning up day to day. I have a laundry hamper under my sink, which obviously needs to be taken upstairs because I've just finished cleaning and there was a lot of that's trash laundry to be picked up. But this is under my sink in the kitchen. Our washroom is upstairs, the laundry room, and so this makes it so easy when the kids come in from outside. If we've been somewhere, they need to strip down and you know, change their clothes. They can just toss it right in here. Any dirty clothes that are downstairs, socks, things like that, just toss in and we take it up whenever it's full. And then one other thing that I like to do is if there are kids toys down here, things that don't belong in the kitchen, over on our staircase, I got a large bin or basket that all of this stuff goes into. And the goal is that after we've picked up and cleaned up, this basket then goes up the stairs and the things get put away in the places that they belong. Does that always happen? No, but that's the goal. So those two small things really help make the cleaning process a bit faster. Uh, we do live in a townhouse, so our living space is downstairs, kitchen, living room, and then upstairs are bedrooms, bathroom, there's a half bath down here too. Um, bathrooms and then the laundry room. So instead of taking everything up the stairs, Every time I need to go up and put something in the laundry room or up and put something in the kids' rooms, I just put them in their bins downstairs. So the laundry room under the sink or the laundry basket under the sink and then the basket on the stairs helps the process go a lot faster. Okay, so the countertops are clean and wiped down. The floor has been vacuumed. The table is wiped down and put back together. It looks a little funny. We actually only had four chairs at the table for the longest time, and then we finally put together the other two chairs, but I only bought four like placemat areas for the four chairs we had. So it looks a little silly, but what are you gonna do? Uh, but then I noticed this lovely, lovely little mess here. So I'm gonna clean this up really quickly before I start on the dishes. And then I'm also gonna take the trash out and clean off the refrigerator. Cause it is, yeah. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Just cleaned it out. Most of it was trash, old like menus for the weekend, things like that. There were a couple things I did wanna keep, um, like their pen pal notebooks, which we send back and forth to family members which we need to keep doing. I haven't done that in several months and so we need to pick that back up. And then there's like a receipt of library books that we have checked out. So I just tuck them back behind these two black notebooks because it just looks, you know, more aesthetically pleasing. So now moving on to the trash and the refrigerator. Okay, the refrigerator is done. My husband says he's gonna take out the trash, so I don't have to worry about that. This is all clean and wiped down. Now we're gonna start the dishes. Womp, womp, womp.
Okay, so while I was cleaning the kitchen, my amazing husband cleaned up the living room for me. So that's done. It looks so nice, so much better. Everything is clean, put away, with the exception of those dishes that are drying over there. Ta-da! What is it, Cammie? So yes, a much better situation than what we were working with before. <sighs> feels so good. And then there's this. This is all the stuff that was picked up from the living room and or kitchen that needs to go upstairs. Hey, and just like that, the stairs are clean. Da -da -da -da. And the kids are playing on the landing upstairs done. Well, it has been a long day of cleaning and I was going to film our meal prep for the week, but it's late and I think I'll do that on another day. I'm still going to meal prep the food, but the filming process kind of slows it down. So I will put that up on a video soon so you guys can see what we like to meal prep and kind of get ready for the week so that we can eat clean. Anyway, Thanks for coming along with me today. Boy, what a chore that was. But it was kind of like a nice little spring cleaning to get ready for the new season. So it was worth it. Anyway, thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.